Namaste, my name is Ryan and welcome to my channel Mindly Yoga. Today's practice is a short and sweet yin practice. Really good practice to do on one of those really busy days when you're running from one thing to another or you just ran out of time to uh, practice yoga. Also very handy practice when you're traveling, especially if you're traveling for work. Uh, you can squeeze this in any part of the day. Um, in between your meetings, assignments, presentations, etc. I've been in the corporate world before, having worked in the corporate world for 17 years. Uh, I know that short practices are very handy to reduce stress and have a calming effect. Um, having said that, let's begin. So we'll start our first pose is child's pose. So bring the big toes to touch. Knees can be as wide as the mat. And then once we have our stability, we begin to fall forward, bring our forehead and the palms on the mat. You don't need any props for this practice. However, if you like to use some props, feel free to do so. And then gently lifting the head of the mat, we'll transition into Sphinx pose. So coming to lie down on our belly, placing the elbows under the shoulders, palms onto the mat or the floor, and pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, drawing the shoulders away and relaxing the gaze, softening our gaze.
and then gently coming into all fours so we tuck the toes and then slowly walk back up until we arrive in all fours and from here we'll move into sleeping swan so wiggling the right knee behind the right wrist and then bring the right shin parallel to the floor or the top edge of the mat untuck the toes on the back leg once you have your sweet spot you can begin to fold forward or stay upright so maybe the head goes all the way to the floor maybe we make a cushion with two fists for our forehead or maybe the head goes all the way down slowly coming back up to center as we come back onto all fours and then we'll transition to sleeping swan on the other side left knee behind the left wrist untuck the right toes and this side might be similar or different to the other side so take the option that works for this side maybe going all the way down maybe staying half way up
Coming back up, we'll swing both legs forward and come to lie down on our mat. And we go into reclining twist. So pull the right knee into the chest. The left leg is long on the mat. Left palm guides the right knee to the left hand side. Now the knee does not have to touch the ground. We're only staying here for two minutes. And you can place the right hand either coming out straight in line with the shoulder or you can place it anywhere else where it feels comfortable. And then coming back to center, hug the right knee into the chest, <laughs> bring the left knee into the chest as well. And then let's hold on to the left knee and let the right leg extend on the mat. And then with the right hand, we'll guide the left knee to the right hand side. And the left hand again can come out in a T. Now the left knee does not have to touch the ground. But if it does for you, that's fine as well. And then coming back to center, hugging both knees into the chest. 
and then moving into Shavasana. Let the feet find the corners of the mat. Hands come to rest by your side as the palms face the ceiling. Making gentle movements with your fingers and your toes. And then rolling over to your favorite side. And then slowly coming up into a seat. Bring the hands to heart center as the thumbs press against the sternum. One soft inhale. One soft exhale. We bring the thumbs to the third eye center, to our lips and to our hearts. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Hope you enjoyed it and you're feeling refreshed and calm. Wherever you're in the world today, have a great morning, awesome afternoon or an amazing evening. I will see you soon on the mat. Namaste.